Hey Justin, this is Rebecca Lane and this is take two on this video feedback, so let's see how this works out. Okay, so first thing, lighting, awesome, excellent job. Um, next thing, I love how you're making direct eye contact with the camera, well done. One of the things I want to recommend is go ahead and open up your uh, your frame just a little bit, move that move that camera back, and go ahead and include yourself from the bottom of your rib cage up to the top of your head. So what this is going to allow you to do, this is going to allow you to use your hand gestures as well as your face because you've got a really expressive face, you've got a lot of vocal dynamics happening. Make sure that you um, that you give yourself just the benefit of everything that you can, even especially in this online environment where you can't respond to our facial expressions um, immediately, right? Um, one of the things that I want to note is listen to your vocal delivery that you do right here. Um, try to find a way that actually feels conversational. I see that you're trying to be dramatic and kudos to you for trying that, um, but if it's not sincere, it's not going to work. So what I would recommend is go ahead and try Try delivering this to some people that you really trust who will um, not even give you feedback per se, but more people that you can talk to that uh, will give you honest facial expressions, whose, whose faces you can read while you're doing this. Um, think of it less as a performance and more as, more, uh, as a conversation. So you've got this misplaced, la da da. Da, da, da. And, and that's the kind of thing, I, I see that you, you, you take your head away for a moment, go ahead and, and, and look at us like that. That's intense, right? Um, okay, moving forward, we'll hear a little bit more. Lost. These words represented the objects, events, and relationships in my life as I grew older and gained more responsibilities. Okay, so um, you see how your vocal intonation, you're kind of sitting in this middle of my life, but it would have felt it would have felt more natural if you're my life so you see how my life versus my life um, and not that my intonation is exactly what you would want to do please don't mimic me but uh, you're kind of holding back a little bit which is completely normal breathe relax find places to smile um, and a lot of times, uh, what what this honest delivery, this honest delivery that I'm I'm trying to help you find, uh, it actually involves relaxing. So um, I was recently reading our, an article on confidence, and one of the things that we find with people who are incredibly confident is they're actually really relaxed um, because they don't have anything to prove, right? Um, and so. A lot of this tension, it usually comes uh, across the front of the chest, maybe like um, within your shoulders, your arms, your back, something like that, uh, your belly. These are the places that we tend to hold tension when we're feeling a little bit nervous or a little bit angsty. Um, and so if you're trying to communicate honestly within the moment, really sincere, these are the places that you want to, to kind of check in with and just see if they're feeling tense. Okay, moving forward. Our lifestyles are hectic, increasingly so. The only way to deal with... Okay, so one of the things that I'm seeing right here, do you see how your eye contact is here, and then it was over here, and then it was over here? Our lifestyles are hectic. Increasingly so. I mean, say that to my face. Because you and I, we can connect on that, right? So when you're saying, our lifestyles are hectic, in your brain, like the subtext is, are you with me? You got this? And so, but you can only have that subtext. You can only have that... That, that connection going on if you're actually making eye contact with me. This problem is to develop organization skills. How many of you have more to accomplish in a day than you have time to completely finish? So do you see how your pacing is really measured? How many of you have time to da -da 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 day? When da -da 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 -da. Um, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just having trouble talking. Just so you know. Um, and you, but do you notice how you've got that really measured pace? And, and usually we find this measured pace when we're really rehearsed or we've practiced it through that pacing or, um, or we're reading, right? So find, find a way to, to, to make it more natural. And sometimes that turns into, and, and by natural what I mean is a varied pacing. So like even if you're listening to my voice right now, I'm a little sporadic because it's three o'clock in the morning, but Excuse me, um, but what 
we can also do is um, find that ebb and flow. Listen to you. Listen to yourself while you're having a conversation with somebody that you that you like uh, or who you trust or something like that. And listen to how your pacing goes a little, you, sometimes you'll go a little bit faster, sometimes we'll talk a little bit slower, sometimes we pause and we think and we, and, and we don't always pause at, at the end of the punctuation, right? Sometimes we pause at the end of the phrase, sometimes we pause in the middle of a phrase, sometimes you start to talk and then you realize that somebody is making a funny face and you stop to figure out whether it's gas or whether they're really confused. Um, so go ahead and have that moment, even though it's manufactured, even though you may not have somebody on the other side, um, that is the way to find something that really feels sincere on the audience's end. Okay, moving forward. I've dedicated the past two years of my life studying the best ways to be productive and stay organized. My favorite method is the international best-selling book, Getting Things Done. Okay, I love how you just qualified that source citation. Really good. Um, work to make it a little bit more more conversational. Right now, you've got this um, uh, your your phrasing for that source citation. Um, you included everything that you needed to include, and so if this is how it turns out in the final project, bravo. If you want to take it a notch up, because you're you're already doing quite well. If you want to take it a notch up. Think about making it more conversational. So when we're thinking about public speaking, uh, think about it as opposed to writing. When we're writing, we we usually talk. Excuse me, is that you? It's me. Um, when when we're talking, we want to make. Okay, when we're writing something down, um, we want it to be formal because it's permanent. And, and that permanence means that we're looking for uh, a certain level of clarity, a certain level of formality, a certain level of anybody can read this and really understand it. Um, but in conversation, it's really a human-to-human -human connection. And while a speech is a little bit more formal than a conversation with your buddy, it's still, um, it's still a conversation. Maybe a little bit one-sided, but it's still a conversation. Um, and the deal is, is that we cite things in everyday conversation. So if I saw an awesome interview with Joss Whedon on The Daily Show and I wanted to tell my buddy about it, I'd be like, hey, did you see that awesome interview with Joss Whedon on The Daily Show last night? It was great. He was totally talking about XYZ and uh, I really loved it because of this experience in my life. Okay, so depending on who my friend was and my ex life experience, whatever, but these are things that we do every day. And the reason we cite things, it isn't, well, it does give us credibility. Um, maybe you saw it too. Maybe you want to go find it later. Um, if people are really resonating with your speech, well, that's the kind of stuff that we want. But we can find a way that, to say it that feels more conversational as opposed to super formal. Art of Stress-Free Productivity by David Allen. You can live stress-free. You can maintain mental clarity. Let's get organized. Implementing an organization system will allow you to, one, avoid confusion and accomplish more. I love that you're having a preview. Well done. Again, find your ebb and flow. You've got that really measured pace. Find an ebb and flow. More on a day-to-day -day basis. Two, Remember and be prepared for future events. And three, have a clear have a clear vision of what you need to do every day. The so do you see how you started you to smile there? Like starting to smile, we started to get a feel for your personality. Um, find places to breathe and smile. Uh, breathing helps you relax on a, on a really general level. And smiling also has that same effect on your body. It relaxes us. Um, and the thing is, is that when somebody smiles at you, your natural impulse is to mimic their facial expression. It, your, your impulse is to smile back. So if you smile and then your audience smiles, um, you've automatically helped them relax as well as helping you relax. So this is a good cycle to get going. Find some places to do that uh, in a sincere way, of course, not, not in, a, in a weird fakey way. Um, not that you would do weird fakey, just smiles need to be sincere. Or organized is that 
you'll avoid confusion and you'll be more productive every day. Izzy Lepowski says in her article, Get More Done, that research has shown again and again that the human mind is not meant to multitask. Okay, Get More Done. Who's Izzy? Where was, where was this article published? Um, things like that. Think Daily Show Joss Whedon. Uh, interview with Joss Whedon says a little bit, but the fact that it was on The Daily Show, that says a lot more, right? Like that, that would imply a lot of the context. So an interview in uh, Time Magazine is going to be different from an interview in National Geographic from an issue in Cosmo uh, or something like that, right? So give yourself the credibility of the publication. So we're going to jump forward a little bit. Books. And you would think that I was a certified tab browser with at least 10 tabs open at any given time. Instead of Superman, I was super multitasking man. What I now refer to as a time rebel. After a while, I realized that I needed help organizing my workload. There were so many ideas running around in my mind. You've done a really great job of being really specific with the details in your stories. Kudos to you. Well done. And that I couldn't regain, I, I couldn't have any clarity. There was just a, a lot of mental. I would then have phone calls from friends and team members at the last minute. You will remember and be prepared for events in the future, and you'll also have a clear vision of what you need to get done every day. Since our lifestyles are now more hectic than ever, we need to adapt to this and become more organized. It is a skill that is becoming more and more useful. By implementing a calendar and daily task list, it will sharpen your focus and... Okay, Justin, so you're doing a really good job of, uh, of wrapping this up. The main thing that I would say is breathe, um, find some ebb and flow with your pacing, uh, and really practice practice with somebody who's, whose face you can watch. So you can actually like hear, find some different phrasing, find some find some words that feel good in your mouth, find a, try to make it a notch less formal. Um, not two notches, not buddy-buddy, but take it down a notch. Take the formality of your wording down a notch. Uh, let me be more specific. Um, you're off to a, you're in a really great place. You've got really good delivery already. Just breathe, smile, relax, a notch less formal. Uh, if you would like, if you have more specific questions, let me know, and I will be glad to um, flesh it out. Just give me a give me a call tomorrow um, or on Saturday. Of course, Saturday I'm not really doing office hours, but if you call me, I might be able to pick up. So, um, yeah. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing the final project. Thanks so much. Bye.